What is going on everybody? How are we all doing? And welcome back to the 5050 Road to Glory. Today we are up all the way on to episode number 33 of this series. The support on it all the way through the year has been awesome. So thank you so much. Once again, if you do enjoy this episode, make sure to leave a big thumbs up on it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you are new around here, there will be a link to the playlist of this series in the description there below. So you can watch it all from completely from the beginning. But um, last time out, we did super well. We uh, built the chem glitch team, which we're going to be using again. Most of you in the comments said that you were happy with use that, to use that team until the chem glitch expires. And uh, we got promoted into Division 2, which is absolutely awesome. Some stuff is going to start to get really, really seriously difficult now. But um, as always, lads, we start off these episodes by flipping a coin. So if you're going to be taking anything at the good pot or the bad pot, as always, we are going to go for tails as the pots fall over while I flip the coin there. And today we have got, oh dear me, lads, we have got ourselves ahead. So we're going to be having a bad pot for our first few games in Division 2. This could be absolutely terrible. But let's see what we're going to be doing in today's episode, lads. Give these a bit of a shake around and we'll take, we'll take, I think I've got one here. I have indeed. Let's see what we're going to be doing. Please, nothing too bad. Uh, it, it's not terrible, but it's not ideal. It is small centre-backs and that means the centre-backs that we use in our team have to be below the height of 5 foot 10. Um, I'm going to see if we've got any in the club. If not, I'm going to have to go and buy a couple. So we're uh, back in a minute, lads. So lads, as you can see on screen now, we did have a couple of centre-backs under 5 foot 10 or 5 foot 10 and under. We've got this guy here, uh, Vitiello. He's standing at 5 foot 9 inches tall. Looks like an absolutely terrible card. We're looking at 62 physical on a gold centre-back. That is absolutely shameful. And then we're partnering him up now with Aguilar, who's an inch tall at 5 foot 10, but still... Terrible, terrible looking card. This is going to be absolutely horrendous. Not only have we got to use these short centre-backs, these were already in the club, of course. It also also lowers the chemistry of Petacek and Kyle Walker. So those players that need the chemistry now aren't getting it either. So um, the bad pot has been a cruel mistress to us today, but hopefully we're going to try and uh, fight through this in Division 2. I think this is going to be a struggle of an episode, lads. Let's get into game one. Here we go then, lads. Game number one in Division 2 with the tiny centre-backs. Oh, could it be any worse? He's got Mandzukic, the player that he's built for heading the ball. He's like six foot two, six foot three, I think. That is ridiculous. What are the odds on that? That is crazy. This is going to be impossible, lads. Here we go. FC Dubs. Let's see what we can do. Oh my god, Ruben Castro gets kind of lucky again. We're going to crack these. Oh, the ball. Oh, damn it, that was a chance. Well, lads, you can see the half-time stats. It's been a pretty dull game. It's bizarre. He's got Mandzukic up top, yet he seems to do everything except for cross the ball, which is obviously our Achilles heel. But um, we've got a chance still in this game. Let's keep on going. Uh-oh. What a save check. No, 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 no. It's just gone in. Right at the start of the second half. It's a great save initially. We just got a bit overrun. Oh, it was a P-roller of a finish, man. The check nearly got there. God damn it. God, not another corner. We can't stand any more corners. Come on, get it out. Oh. Of course it's a corner that we concede from. What even happened here? Nodded it down, look. Oh, could it eat my defender on the bloody bonds? What's that all about? God damn it. That's full time then, lads. We lose that game 2 0. And um, kind of frustrating. We did have a couple of chances. This guy definitely deserved to win the game. No qualms with that whatsoever. But conceding a corner, I think that's really going to be a theme of today's episode. We just can't do anything about it. And we need to take the chances when they do come our way. And we just did not do that at all in that game. But let's hope the second game can be uh, a little bit better for us. Let's go. Come on. Game number two, lads. What are we going up against? A very strong team, but at least, on paper at least, it's not as great in the air as the last team. Griezmann, absolute monster. Koloplenka and Di Maria. I mean, Di Maria is on zero chem there, mate. Well, not zero chem. No links going into him. Hopefully, we've got a bit more chance in this game than we did in the last one. Come on. Well, two games, no points, no goals. This has been freaking dire so far. 
as, as much as the defence is to blame for a couple of the goals we've conceded, I'm so annoyed that we've not managed to score a single goal yet. We've had so many chances, but hopefully we can turn that round in the next game, lads. This has been a dreadful episode. The bad cut, the bad pot, sorry, really costing us right now. Right then, lads. Third and final game of today's episode is rocking up with, God damn it, another good player in the air. We've had Manzukic and Higuain. This is like completely gone against us today. Please, can we just at least score a goal in this match? Please, I beg of you, FIFA. Oh my god, that... the defensive positioning of those two centre backs is absolutely appalling. Again, there's just so much room for them to go in behind and nobody even close to them. My god, this has been this has been painful. Oh my god, look at the defensive line again, lads. He's gonna score here. Look at the defence, they're all over the place. You can feel it coming. You can feel it coming because the defence is so bad. We have just not had any look in today's episode whatsoever. This is depressing me right now. Oh my god. We are in there. If that isn't a red card, I don't know what is. But I bet it's not. I bet it's a yellow because that's the way it's going today. Oh no. I take it back. He's actually sent him off. Have we got a bit of hope? And it's Chiellini as well. Right, come on. Rakitic, bang this in. Bring the strike back in. Come on. 2 1. First goal of today's episode. The comeback is on, lads. Come on. Oh my god, please no. Not now. Just put the subs on. Please no. He's done nothing. All game. But of course, he takes his chances and we haven't, so what can you do, lads? This has been such a frustrating session. I do not know how this goes 3-1 up, but dear me, end this game now, please. At least we can take free kicks to Rakitic, take the positives. Well, lads... This has been, without doubt, probably the most frustrating session of FIFA I've played all year because at least we scored two goals in that game, yes, but it wasn't just the defenders that let the team down, it was the finishing we had. So we should have won that game, I don't know. The stats say he had more shots. You've seen the chances that we had in that game. I don't know how we failed to score so many chances. And now, that has put us so much on the back foot at the start of Division 2. Hopefully, we can get a good pot next time. We only need the... Four wins out of seven, which I'd hope we can still do as long as we got the, the get the good pot and nothing too bad again next time. But honest to God, that was so goddamn frustrating. I think the reason it cost us was because not necessarily the height. They were just bad defenders and they took chemistry off the players that needed it. So the likes of Kyle Walker was terrible. Czech wasn't as good as usual. I don't know. I don't know what it was, but that was just a, a horrible session of FIFA, lads. But if you did enjoy this episode, did enjoy watching me suffer, make sure to leave a big thumbs up on it, like I said at the start. I will speak to you in uh, in tomorrow's video, lads. Have a great night. Nidge out. Yo, he's Nidge, plays with big games, and player reviews are getting insane. He entertains while he elevates, his video quality resonates. On career mode, he got lots of vids, uploading off and he's rocking it. He's got the confidence in all his commentaries. Videos range, they often vary, got need for speed and a road to glory. Just watching vids, hey, you know the story. The content is underrated, I'm understating, so don't ignore the like and subscribe button to support the channel that keeps running. It takes one second, like it's free, it costs nothing. Peace.